William Maryland here for GetMoreSports.com, looking at some of the losers from Measurement Day in Chicago for the NBA Draft Combine, and without a doubt, the biggest loser was Dockery Johnson out of Kentucky. The center uh, was a questionable decision to leave school and enter the NBA Draft, and he did nothing, absolutely nothing, to change the minds of those who believe that today on Wednesday. Of course, he comes in with the highest body fat percentage of NBA of anyone at the Combine at 14.9%. Yes, he measures in at six or seven feet. Yes, he has length. But none of those things we didn't know. We, of course, knew his height. We wanted to see if he could improve his body, get a little bit more explosive athleticism out of his frame. And obviously, he has not put in the necessary work to get down. You can't show up to the NBA draft combine at just about 15% body fat. That's inexcusable. In fact, it's shocking that he did that. Uh, so he is definitely our biggest loser. A couple other names that were kind of on the short end of the stick, if you will. Uh, a guy like Stanley Johnson out of Arizona. Really shocked coming in at under 6'7 with shoes on. All of a sudden, he cannot be a bruising small forward with that height at the NBA level. Uh, another guy out of the Pac-12 would be uh, the Stanford all-time leading scorer. A really shocking one here. I wasn't necessarily expecting Jason Randall to be a big-time NBA draft guy, but I expected him to be over 6'2 with shoes. And it, with the fact that he is under that, he is not a natural point guard anyways. He doesn't have explosive athletic ability. He relies on getting his shots off. He cannot get off shots against NBA point guards or two guards at that height. Really hurt his stock there. Uh, another guy, Michael Qualls, uh, a, an explosive athlete out of Arkansas. I really did enjoy watching him play in college. He was a questionable decision, though for the NBA and really did nothing, absolutely nothing to change anybody's mind with that. At 6'5", he's got to be a true shooting guard and he just absolutely isn't. Who is he going to guard at the NBA level? He's got explosiveness to possibly lock down or at least stick around some three guards. I don't know that he can guard some of the two guards that we have in this game today. Is he going to be able to guard Klay Thompson? That's who he would be tasked with guarding at the NBA level. I'm not sure that he has it in him. Those are some of the top losers from day one at the NBA Draft Combine.